Good evening. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Saturday night, December 24th, 2022, 5.39 p.m. We have a fully packed evening. We got many multiple uh, frozen pipe calls. We're going to break out the general hotshot 320. And I'm going to show you how we throw out some pipe. Merry Christmas. I'll be the, I'll try not to be the Grinch who stole Christmas right now. I'm going to stop by the shop, pick up the throwing machine that was being used all day by the crew, the team, and they'll take a look at the counter. All right, guys, pull up your pants, tie your boots. Let's get going. All right, one line, toilet cold water supply. The other line, water meter. We have cold water to the washing machine right there. Now we wait. 7.15. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Feels like good morning. I know, I just literally got home less than 20 Where's the thermostat? London. Your thermostat's in London? No, here, downstairs in the basement. Oh, at least you have a ductless unit to use. Oh, wait, you want the thermostat? Yes. Oh, the thermostat's right there. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, I'm, I just... You know those do heat, too. Oh. How many of those do you have? That's that one. Okay. Lead the way. I didn't even know that. Yeah, they do heat. Yeah, they're called heat pumps. They, uh, in the summertime... They suck the heat out of your air in the house and bring it outside. Uh -huh. And in the winter, it sucks the heat that's outside. Believe it or not, there's heat outside. You may not think so, but absolute zero is much colder than it is outside. Yeah. So you got a steam boiler. Oh, thank God you got a steam boiler. But who did, oh my God, who did this? <laughs> wow. I got to take a picture of this. How much is a new boiler? Oh my God, who put this in? I have no idea. Did it come with the house? No, no, my parents. Oh. I put it in. Oh, I guess these people. Oh, right there. Yeah. These people. Wow. I've never, um, I've never seen them. I've never seen people use copper press, <laughs> which is expensive, <laughs> for steam piping. They're not supposed to use copper for steam oh. on the, the primary, on the, on the main piping for the boiler. It's okay. It's not really okay elsewhere, but you can, you can get away with it. The reason for that is, you know, steam is hot, right? Yeah. It's like Sahara hot. Right. Well, every time, you know, right now it's cold. It's probably, what, 55 degrees down here, maybe? Yeah. And every time the boiler comes on, it creates steam, it, 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 it gets to 212 degrees. And the constant expansion and contraction on the fittings uh, will, will kill the solder joints. They leak, but they use the cop, pop, copper press. Okay. So you think you have no pilot? Did you check for a pilot? I don't know how to do that. Oh, no? Mm -mm. Okay, want to learn? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you, the, the, see this cover? Oh, let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. See, so it says lighting instructions? Yes. This yellow, I mean, this uh, white and red um, yeah. label. Um, so, the, uh, the, you know, you may think the boiler manufacturer wrote these instructions. They didn't, actually. Attorneys did. Want to know why? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Suits. Yes, because if you blow yourself up, it won't be U.S. Boiler Burnham. It'll be whatever your name, Rona, right? right. <laughs> it'll be Rona's Boiler Company exactly. <laughs> or your estate for right. your kids. Right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but they're very detailed instructions. But let me just see real quick if the pilot is on down below. Well, I have, I, this will probably be if you, if you say no. Oh, we're going to find out right now. You do not have a pilot. I don't, right? No. Yeah. So we're going to turn the switch this off. This will be the third time I'm replacing the coupler. And how many, and how, what period of time is that? Every year. Every year? Yeah, and my, my thing was, I, I got home yesterday, and my thing was on Monday, I was going to call Salento Pipeline to come yes. and replace it, just because it's, they... Do I have a lighter in my pocket? The last time no. I went through this, boy, you need a flashlight? No, I need a light, a, a, a match. I'll go to the truck and get one. All right, so she's saying that the thermal coupler replaced over and over and over again and that's a problem i don't know why this company who possibly did that it's cold in here 
Look at the towels frozen. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, I got so much stuff in here. How am I gonna manage out of a mattress? I have no idea. But you're saying the thermal coupler, couple, uh, has been replaced three times in three years. I think that's what she said. That's no bueno. I'm gonna take one out of here anyway. Residio. Put that in the pocket. Let's go see what's going on. Well, just as a precaution, they get through the winter, it's cheaper to do it that way than to just replace this whole unit. You're right. Generally. So, let's see. Who knew that there was a whole bunch of things So cold. I don't want a light. Warming up. All right, nice blue pilot flame. Holding down that. And wait that the same company's been replacing this Sorry, coupler. Could you yes. say that again? I'm gonna guess they're using a cheap inferior coupler. Oh, I have the receipt. No, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't doubt that it's been replaced three times in three no, years. I, I thought maybe it had the name. No, on no, 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 no. I thought it had the name on. Oh. Not, even on a Mario seat, which is a nice, you know, email to you with pictures and stuff like that, it doesn't have. It. But I'm gonna put in like a, a Honeywell, which is a major brand, you know, because you get what you pay for. But and we'll also guarantee it for two years. Oh. Yeah. Okey dokey. What company are you from again? <laughs> Not them. <laughs> Existing pilot burner is not taken, not capable, not taking the threads of the new thermal couple. So I want to get a new pilot burner. It's got this stupid thing at the end. All right, <laughs> look at that. It's got this stupid thing on the end. And it doesn't want to come off. See, it's not coming off. So I'm gonna put a new uh, pilot tubing in. I'm using my bender. Let's make some bends. And schedule them, schedule them with a tune-up. So, using my seven sixteenths and uh, three eighths flare wrench, tighten this up. <clears throat> I can hold back with a wrench, but I'm not going to. That works for me. So I'm gonna make this tubing perfectly straight, right? And then we're gonna use my rigid bender to make some bends. Gentlemen, time to shine. Line that up. Give that a little bit more. My first bend. Stay tuned for the rest. Keep waiting for it. We're almost getting there. We got a couple more bends left. This is gonna look tits. Stay tuned. <laughs> there I'm gonna share so I set the pilot burner I made my first bend since the pilot burner is resting on that clip right it's on that burner tube so I made the the tube the bend right parallel with the tube then I marked it I want to mark like right past the manifold, the gas manifold, I marked it right there, bent the 90 degree turn, and now it's easy peasy. Put a mark right there, shoot across, and it looks like, yep, it'll be right there. I'm gonna bend straight down, put another ferrule right there, compression ferrule, it will be, not in ferrule, will be good to go. So I needed to get a compression nut ferrule for my truck. I did not have one of my clear case here. And this wrench is not being cooperative. So I'm gonna get on there. Okay, just about done. Excellent. Now, guys, you're gonna love it. Stay tuned, I'm making progress. Okay, take out the thermal couple. Now, I'm gonna bring 
a new thermal couple right around here like that. We're going to put you in right there. And ladies and gentlemen, it goes in nice and smooth the whole entire process. If it's reluctant to get started or go in, you're gonna cross thread it. Don't cross thread it. Okay, put that just like that. See? Not really taking that, that much more time to do this. Alright? So let me show you. Alright. Pilot is lit. There's the new pilot tubing. Thermocouple. Really does look nice. Yeah, I guess I could straighten that out a little bit and I'll do that right next. As soon as I let go of my finger off the pilot. Just like that. Let's fix that. Because they say I'm a perfectionist. And I gotta admit, that's almost damn near perfect. All right, one thing I hate about these burnums, you really gotta get low, stick the end of the burner tube into a special slot in the back of the boiler. Otherwise, you're never gonna get it in. So you really gotta see it, you need a light. Lines up in there, get in there. Boom, okay. Now many of you may ask me, Mikey Pipes, it, why aren't you cleaning out the combustion chamber? I'm taking care of the immediate issue. I'm gonna do a combustion and safety test, making sure the boiler's running properly before I get out of here. Um, we're gonna stress the importance of maintenance, maybe we'll even uh, get them to agree to a monthly maintenance plan for $23.95 a month. It gives them an animal tune-up, you know? Let's put this plate back on there. Okay, bingo, and let's fire up. Gas valve to on. Let's go. Let's get that money. Right now the damper is cycling. It is almost closed. I'll show you. See, the damper is closed. A low water cutoff is not doing anything. Pressure troll appears to be fine. Damper is now cycling. There's a little bit of a delay there. And then shortly thereafter, we're gonna have ignition on this Burnham SIN5. Grossly oversized for this house. There we go. Houston, we got ignition. And we have brand new pilot burner, pilot tubing, thermocouple. This thing looks tits. All right, I was gonna put the sticker right there. You know, my new one, like Dr. Home Services one, you know, with stop, this unit may be covered in the warranty, but I like it in the front better. But for the water heater, it makes perfect sense to put it right there. There you go. I'll gladly give you $25 for this water heater. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll give you $250 for this water heater. Matter of fact, <laughs> what were they thinking? Come on, man. Really? Really? Seriously? You don't use copper. You don't use copper. Copper press on steam. You just don't do it right here. Not for this. Come on, man. What are you, what's wrong with you? Okay. Let's review. You look concerned. You're healthy. At least, I, you're alive. You woke up today. There you go. You're not living on the streets. That's right. I had, had a great life. All right. So people have it much worse. Think of it that way. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, okay. So I couldn't relight the pilot. You couldn't? No. Oh, you did. Oh, you couldn't. I couldn't relight the pilot. What does that mean? I'm, telling, I'm explaining it to you. Oh. I was concerned. I'm concerned. Well, I was concerned. Not anymore. But I was concerned that you had this thermal coupler or pilot flame sensor that we call it, or thermal couple, coupling, uh, replaced multiple times over the past couple of years. That's the definition of insanity. When you do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, you know, it's insanity, right? You know, so I wasn't going to replace it. We need to figure out why it's happening. And the pilot flame itself uh, was too strong, and you're probably burning out the thermal coupler. Right? Oh, yeah. So... 
for testing purposes, because right now we're still in testing purposes, because I haven't given you a price yet. And oh, okay. I have to give you a price, and you approve. If you approve oh. it, then okay, then we're done. If not, then I'll throw everything back in and have a nice day. Okay. <laughs> Pay for my time. Okay. Um, so for testing purposes, I put in a new thermal couple. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't go onto the pilot burner, but there's a problem with the pilot burner anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I replaced the pilot burner, and then the silver tube, which leaves the, the, uh, the gas valve, and I made it nice and pretty and nice and clean, but that's the way the company works. You know, we like to do it like it was better from the factory. Yeah. So, um, so for testing purposes, you have a brand new thermal couple, a brand new pilot burner, brand new pilot tubing, and the boiler's running. Um, any questions so far? Okay, uh, approximately what, and if you could estimate, when's the last time the boiler was maintained? Or serviced, they cleaned it, tune up, quote unquote oh, tune up? Never. Okay, I, it, it's obvious. <laughs> um, Nobody ever, ever asked you. me that, told me that it needed to be done, nothing. Then I'm gonna be the first one to tell you. Okay. Um, and it may seem like, oh, another ag another ag another aggravation, another expense, it's really not. It's really not that expensive. And it's it's best for your boiler anyway. Okay. I know you said you wanted to replace it. You know how much a new one is. Um, so let's not talk that about. I want to replace I know that you want to replace it, but one observation. Um, and no disrespect to the house, but this is not a tremendous house. No kidding. Okay, the boiler is for a house that's much larger. <laughs> um, if you had, I'm going to guess you probably have eight radiators in the house. Yeah. Okay. Good guess, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven. Um, oh, eight. I didn't count the yeah, I've, I've, I know this name from the back of my hand. Blindfolded with my hands tied behind my back. Um, the boiler that, that is here, on average, and now there's a whole math to it, but on average can accommodate probably another six radiators. That's a lot. What that means is that the boiler is what we call short cycling. It will run. And instead of running at a nice, even pace, you know, trying to win the race, you know, slow and steady wins the, wins the race, right. it's, it's, it's trying to rush there real fast. And it's there so fast that everyone is still like miles away, which is good in a race, but not good for a boiler because it's, it's excessive wear and tear. So keep that in mind. When the time does come that you do replace this, you want to make sure that the right size is installed. Now, if you tell me, Mike, I like the house 80 degrees in the winter. I would say get better insulation. You're better off putting more better, more energy efficiency into the house, like windows, insulation. I, so, did, I did that last then, year. then to put an oversized boiler in. Yeah, I did all my new win windows last October. So when you do replace the boiler, it should be the one size smaller. I'm okay. just saying. Because so, this is considered a five-section boiler, and it's, you should have a four-section. Okay. And make sure it's all getting replaced. <laughs> all right, just so we're done with that. I did the little intro after the service call. So uh, what do you guys think? Copper press for the steam header piping, the, the, the boiler steam piping, copper press. Come on, man. What were you thinking? So, and you know it, sign them up for the, uh, the heating plan, heating maintenance plan, $23.95 a month. And uh, we'll go there in the next uh, week or two and do a, um, a tune-up. So, pretty good, good stuff. All right, I have one more service call left. I don't know if it's going to be anything important or special, but I'm going to end this clip right now uh, with a little Mikey Pipe, St. Mike. Merry Christmas to all those who celebrate. You see the bends that I did, right? It only took an extra five minutes to do it, make it look tits. Come on. Let's be professional. Let's make the trades great again. And by doing quality and professional work, we'll do it one job at a time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy holidays. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.